these are the new Beats Tour 2.0. My name is TL King. This is Technologic 360. Let's get technological. As any standard uh, above $100 headphones, they do come with a lot of information which I'm not gonna go over. So let's go over to the headphones. They are beautiful. They look metal-ish, however they are hard plastic. They do have a clear inlay to see the inside which seem unproductive just because they would be inside your ear and you would never see them. Um, they do not have a bent uh, inside inlay to go to fit better on your ear. And here's a size comparison to a quarter, which is a little over one third or so. Uh, here's the new version of a remote as well. And uh, here we see the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, and it, it is horizontal to align with your iPod or iPhone. They are made for this to control better, so take that into care and they are tangle free which is always a plus for anyone as we all know how tangle ear buds on headphones can get and they do have a nice carrying case it is not plastic but it has a it is very nice and very soft as well and they do have they do come with a total of four ear tips and one pair of double tipped ear tips um, they do come as well with three different sizes of uh, now secure fit um, to go alongside with your beats and here's the whole thing put together um, again I would have loved to see different more ear tips and more secure fits so here's a size comparison to the JLab JBuds J6 um, I would definitely I definitely like the beats they are they do have a nicer weight nicer size to my ear so if you prefer bigger earbuds, I would definitely go with the be the Beats. Um, so here's the remote, very easy to control. One thing I didn't like, they, it does have a lag to control it. And if you were to put them in your pocket, it may turn the iPod on. So here's the Beats put on your ear. It's very nice, it has a nice sturdiness to it. Um, and it's very secure, so it's very hard to take out. Again, I would have loved to see a clip for your shirt though. So one thing that I didn't like, how bendable this, the cord of the Beats is. It is very bendable, so if you were to wrap it around your iPod, it may bend, which, I mean, again, if you don't mind it. The control feels really cheap, really cheap. I wouldn't trust it in the rain, and again, it has a lag, which, again, and the case obviously it is not plastic it's um maybe might, might have been some nicer feel that beats was trying to do but i would love to see a hard plastic case so final thoughts on the beats would i recommend it yes definitely uh i wouldn't i wouldn't say if you don't have the money go and buy them right now i would say maybe buy some sennheisers if you don't have the money but if you have the money go for them they are really nice obviously you are paying a little more for the name and the brand and the style so that's that um, I love the fact that they took uh, high pitches sounds out and they put on more bass which is always awesome which, which because it means that I can now listen to let's say dubstep music all the way in high volume without my ears hurting from snares or from you know whatever um, again the bass in these headphones is incredible I cannot I cannot say how awesome they feel. In fact, they do vibrate in my ears when the bass is, let's say a term, when the bass drops. So, would I recommend it? Yes. If you don't have the money, maybe some Sennheisers. And that is my thought.